The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of Power Trading Hour. Sounds like I got something going on in the background. Not sure. Maybe one of the pots is up there in the office. Anyway, uh, as I said, uh, another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Uh, if you're going to do anything, probably not a good day to call. I don't have any messages or comms back to the control room right now. Not sure what's going on with that but uh it does look like i'm alive so uh that's the good part of that um but you can email me at path at tfnn.com and uh we can uh, move on out anyway uh we've got a lot of stuff to unpack today and uh we'll just get to it yesterday we had a historic low in the uh, american stock exchange trend if you're unfamiliar with that, uh, the trend is a uh, oscillator on the buy and sell. Uh, it was uh, the lowest that I could ever find yesterday. So I was expecting a fairly decent uh, change of C state today. Generally, it's, it happens within the day uh, and you set some kind of low. Uh, there were a few other things going on out here that really made me think uh, that we were going to have uh, other stuff going on. Um, okay, it says, Jacob says, if you see this, please let people know that Discord is having server issues causing people not to be able to send messages. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm sure we'll get that sorted out soon enough. Uh, oh, back to uh, this. Anyway. Uh, so we were looking for a fairly huge move uh, in the market. Um, we were out buying in the newsletter this morning. And, man, did we have a rip buying uh, pretty close to the lows. And, you know, the downside when markets move this fast is you just can't get out and update soon enough. I was looking for about another 50 cents uh, to the upside on uh, – some options we bought uh, down in the low fives and uh, we're pushing 10 bucks uh, by uh, uh, mid part of the day. Um, hopefully people sold and we could get back in, but uh, you're not always going to hit those prices just fine. Uh, if you're still holding uh, the uh, calls that we bought uh, through the blistering part of the morning, uh, I think you're going to be okay. So I would just sit on your hands. Uh, options expiration, of course, uh, goes to Delta neutral tomorrow. Uh, I'm expecting uh, some kind of decent lows uh, have been set today for that. And looking, uh, options have been rather bullish uh, pretty much uh, uh, through midweek. So if we can get through this, I think we've got a good uh, 7 to 10 days ahead of us. Um, at least uh, maybe the worst of it's over. Uh, some of that had to do with the Kabuki theater that is the oil news uh, with uh, Biden uh, out uh, earlier talking about it today. Eh, a lot of uh, who shot John and a lot of political wrangling. Uh, is there any real uh, change in what went on? Some people were uh, thinking that we would have a real embargo on Russian oil, and we didn't. Uh, it's only for us, and we don't import that much. Uh, oil, uh, if you've ever looked at these before or anywhere else, is fungible. Uh, that means they'll just uh, slap a new name on the tanker and set it, say it came from somewhere else. Or they'll ship to somewhere else, and then they'll ship us that oil. Uh, there's no license plate on uh, a uh, barrel of oil. So, you know, you can kind of, if you want to, get in there and look at the chemistry and say, hey, I kind of know where this oil came from. But in reality, nobody does that. So a lot of theater, uh, no real change from the Biden administration uh, of its extremely uh, hostile 
uh, take on uh, domestic production, although he's more than happy to go hat in hand around the world uh, to third world despots and uh, others. Um, but uh, no, no soup for us here in the United States, no ability to do it, uh, to actually uh, be the end in, uh, uh, energy independent company, uh, country that we are. I'm sure that many countries around the world are laughing their rear ends off about how we could be so stupid. But uh, you know what? We got a handful of people uh, that are basically in a cult uh, on oil, and right now they control the levels uh, levers of power. So I don't think a lot's going to change in that anytime soon. Other than we did have a fairly extensive um, blow off top in crude today, as uh, someone in the den uh, yesterday said, we had a really good. Uh, Three gap play develop in crude. So, not surprised that it's come off today. If that pattern does hold, it would suggest that you are going to get back uh, into crude somewhere around the $100 mark uh, soon enough. And, you know, prices go higher, people quit using this or that or the other, but um, it's going to be tough. Um, certainly, um, the only real change I think is going to happen on that is if U.S. the U.S. does change its policy. And again, we had lip service to that change in policy today, but no real change. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, short of uh, actually producing more oil and uh, getting that taken care of here in the U.S., uh, we're probably seeing, you know, some fairly decent highs at 130. And it's probably going to go back and forth a little bit. Um, politically, the, the absolutely worst thing you can do in the United States is have high oil prices going in uh, to about mid-May uh, when everybody starts the driving season. If you want to tick off and uh, see a huge change in the political landscape at the polls in November, just tick off everybody. Uh, about mid-May. They may be able to ignore it for a month or two. You get into their vacation travel, costs 100 bucks to fill a tank, a, a completely different thing. So I'm just wondering when uh, generally uh, one or all uh, start to buckle and, uh, like me, worship atomic number six carbon, which is all uh, what uh, life is based on here on this planet and uh, get back to the uh, uh, the ability of uh, oil to flow free at market prices instead of it. But uh, a lot of, as far as I'm concerned, a lot of kabuki theater on it. Um, was looking for a little bit more in the market today. Uh, I think a lot of people were thinking that we're gonna be a lot better products coming out from Apple. It started about one o'clock, uh, looked like it could go to 165. Um, when they came out with the products and found out there probably wasn't a lot else hidden under the uh, covers at Apple, uh, it rolled fairly hard from about 162 to 158.65 today. And options expert, uh, uh, Delta Neutral tomorrow. I think we've got a little bit more in the tank for that. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Turn. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, uh, lastly, uh, very interesting story about nickel and you know 100 percent uh, bounce in a day, uh, wiping out a lot of people in the uh, in the uh, trade, especially a billionaire in China. But uh, that billionaire in China, he's into what construction, and guess what? He's got his fingers in a lot of that uh, Evergrande pie. So, uh, eh, things just get go from bad to worse for some of those folks. Uh, but interestingly enough, they turned off the uh, turned off the machines, uh, just like they did in uh, trading places, uh, to allow some of the uh, folks in uh, the uh, LME, the uh, London Metals Exchange, uh, to save uh, their seat, much like trading places. In fact very much like trading places maybe they can redo trading places again with this thing uh with the nickel and uh and uh, uh the uh, uh what was the i'll think of it in a minute anyway i haven't watched a movie in a couple of years i need to go back and and see it again but uh eh, probably be a good remake hard to beat the original though i bet uh you can uh email me i don't know if you can call you can probably call. Um, I don't know how I know that you were on the line unless you spoke up at 877-927-6648. Uh, but you certainly can email me at path at tfnn.com if you want to look. But uh, a lot of stuff going on out there, a lot of cross currents. Uh, be very interesting to see how the day plays out. As I said, option market makers have been rather uh, – uh, bullish uh, into the end of next week. So they think something's going on. I don't know if it's a ceasefire, um, crude starting to come out of uh, animals uh, behinds. I don't know what they think is going to happen, but uh, they're very, very bullish uh, or were into today. So uh, options delta neutral tomorrow tells us a lot more, um, but uh, I do digress. Uh, what are you, uh, 
Okay, first question of the day is what do I think of Charles Schwab short? S-C-H-W. Be like Pete and email me at path at tfnn.com. Okay, what do we have here? Um, not a big fan. Uh, you don't have the kind of blow-off volume going through the 7646 that you really needed. You needed 6 million shares. Yesterday you had uh, 8, so I'm not a fan of it. But uh, you would probably need to get back up to about 85 bucks before the risk-reward would be any good on Schwab. If you're already short, I think you could stay short. But uh, and it's probably going to go sideways from here. Uh, let's uh, do a little history, and then we'll move on. Ah! Why is that not working? Uh, let's take a look here. Eh. As always, anytime you install new drivers, it wants to switch to that miserable one in the monitor, not the rest. So let's uh, do that. Now let's try that again. And still nothing. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on here, but uh, we shall uh, fix that tomorrow. Anyway, it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1917, demonstrators clamoring for bread took to the streets of the Russian capital of Petrograd, now known as St. Petersburg, supported by 90,000 men and women on strike. The protesters clashed with police but refused to leave the streets. On March 10th, the strike spread among all the Petrograd workers and a rape mobs of workers destroyed the police stations, setting fire to stuff. Man, where have I heard that before? Uh, for about two days later, um, a little bit more happening on the four days later, we had Lenin, uh, who was uh, uh, an expat in Switzerland at the time, come back in and take back over. And, of course, uh, the Bolshevik res uh, revolution continued. And uh, what, uh, 60 years, 70 years of uh, a shadow of miserable communism took over Russia. Yeah, just thought it was interesting on a day where yeah, we talked nothing about Russia too much. Uh, as you said, let's get back to some stocks. Let's go see what's happening in the uh, market. Now, I do think uh, that we've made a low and through uh, expiration. Um, one of the things that you can look at uh, out here is that about 90% people shorted right at 4250 and that makes me think all those folks are fat and uh, ready to be skinned on another short squeeze but uh, I do digress I think uh, uh, believe it or not we could be back up into the 4300s next week and it wouldn't surprise me in the least I don't know what's going to happen um, are we still headed lower? We still have way too much volume, yes. But it uh, doesn't mean you're going down today or the next week. But uh, I think we could probably have a little bit more of a rally back up into the mid-4300, 4400 on the S&P cash before the market does decide to just go totally uh, belly up and uh, give it over. But maybe, uh, you know, maybe we get into the Fed next week and maybe uh, he gets a little bit more dovish. You never know. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Apple. As I said, uh, that one was uh, AAPL. Uh, that one was kind of primed to do well today. You had a little bit lighter volume out here. What you're really ending up now with is a big doji. Uh, so I'm going to say uh, that the dog and pony show was a... Um, a uh, not a disaster, but uh, a disappointment for many. Microsoft uh, options uh, have looked really good. Um, you went through the previous two lows. In fact, you got a fairly nice low. You, the uh, first one on uh, January 24th, 275, with 86 million shares. You pierced that on. 
February 24th with 57 million shares and rallied. Now you're back into that so far today with 35 million shares. So let's say we do 45 million shares by the end of the day. You got kind of a nice triple bottom uh, setting up here and very good risk reward. Um, I don't know if that risk reward goes beyond the 18th of the month, but uh, at the moment it doesn't look that bad. Uh, other stocks out here, we got more people. Uh, Zach, uh, um, da -da -da -um, short guy wire, G Y R E, right? Okay. Uh, da -da -da -um. Question Should he cover his short position? I don't know what uh, price you're short at, uh, Zach. You can email me uh, where you're at, and uh, we can try to this before. During the break, at PATH, at PF. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Listening in the den, uh, both Spotify and uh, Discord are down. Many others, I guess, too. Maybe it's those rascally Republic or, uh, Russians at it again. Uh, we didn't need proof before, so what changes today? We'll just blame them. But uh, 
well, they're working on it, and I guess it'll be fixed here probably shortly. Um, as I said uh, in the first segment, uh, I'm still fairly bullish here, even if we pulled back. Everybody just starting at about 1 o'clock just started shorting the absolute daylights out of this market. And for me, that just gave a little bit more fodder for us to move up uh, and short squeeze in the next few days. Uh, but we shall see. Um, this is a headline-driven market, and having forecasts uh, too far out is probably unwise. Uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com, and we'll look at what you have to go. Uh, we are talking uh, with Zach via email here uh, just shortly. And uh, eh, I don't know what that is. Uh, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Anyway, on Guidewider, should he cover his position? Um, oh, he did respond. Uh, he shorted 85. Eh, I don't, yeah, I don't, well, I don't understand the trade at all. Um, I don't know where you, what signal you use to get started with it. Um, there's not much of a difference out here. Maybe you shorted it today. Don't know when that is. Uh, but, yeah, I'd be out of it. I think you've got uh, six or seven days, maybe eight days uh, higher into options expiration. Uh, and maybe it's just uh, the belief that Powell will fold like he has before uh, when things have happened uh, in the next uh, Fed meeting on the 16th. But uh, everybody's rather bullish uh, in the option pits these days. And uh, generally, they're right. Not all the time. There's nothing that's 100% in the markets, but I'm not a big fan of being short here. I um, think that uh, probably a lot of these uh, commodities are going to pull back over the next week, too. I'll uh, give you an opportunity to buy them yet again. So not much is happening. Uh, path at TFNN.com. Okay, uh, we looked at Microsoft. As we said, that one looked like it was setting up. Uh, let's look at some of the other biggies and see how they're responding today uh amazon finally got back down here and looks good it looks pretty ah i feel pretty oh so pretty and witty and wise uh is january 24th 2707 from amazon with uh just a hair under eight million shares uh today uh, we pierced that low all uh, pop back above it and guess what? Uh, three and a half million shares so far today. Um, that's actually exactly what you want in a long-term low, uh, testing the 2707. So you've got a fairly good low. You've got a 11 million share low on February 3rd, uh, 5 million share low on uh, January 24th. Yesterday, you only had 4.3 million shares. So as we were talking yesterday, a lot of these stocks were starting to line up and uh, yeah, better than uh, than it could be. Uh, question from Joe via email on uh, on uh, Netflix. Oh, another low. How do we get these lows all together? Yep, a screaming, screaming, screaming buy if you close back into the trading range, which would be 351.46 and above. Uh, back on January 24th, uh, you had 32 million shares. Uh, you got about 4 million shares today. Again, uh, you need to close uh, about 7 or 8 bucks. Maybe you don't get it today. Maybe you get it tomorrow or Friday. Uh, but uh, put this on your list. Um, you could have a dead cat bounce all the way to 475. I don't know what's going to happen in this, uh, but certainly... Um, when you, a low is not a low until it's been retested, I'm going to repeat that a, a lot here in the coming weeks and months. Uh, but uh, guess what? You got it retested. It didn't pierce it the time before. Now you got a small bounce out of that. But this is how long-term lows are actually made. I don't think it's ever going to get back up to its highs uh, in the next year or two. Um, but uh, could you see a move back to 475-ish? Uh, and it may take a while to do so. It's possible. I don't think the Russian thing did much, if anything. So there's yet another one uh, on the line of uh, uh, 
Groove Yard favorites. Uh, deep tracks out here. See what else we have as we look into what's going on in the Church of Happening now. Let's take a look at uh, the perennials that everybody wants to know about. That's AMD as it got back into its low. Now, on this one, uh, not a fan. Um, you did retest the previous low on a little lighter volume, but what you really want is 99.35. I think you can get that tested sooner rather than later. And maybe you get lighter volume, maybe you do not. But uh, not one of the better bets out there. Certainly doesn't look as good as Netflix. NVIDIA, now, if you want to talk about a much better looking uh, chart out here today, it was NVIDIA. That was the 20888 low from January 24th with 92 million shares. Uh, you got into that uh, minus two cents uh, with 73 million shares. They're probably telling you that you're going to get it retested again. Uh, now we're down here with about half the volume, and that is what I love. So it, when uh, you're probably wondering or scratching your head, how can somebody be bullish in this kind of market? Well, it doesn't happen all over one night. And the calls I bought, I didn't think it was going to happen as quickly as it did today. But I think you could have seven or ten days now of uh, a market moving slightly higher unless some kind of uh, thing happens like we get newt, in which case it probably doesn't matter at all. You're not getting your cash back at all uh, from a smoking crater. Uh, but uh, not a bad look at here for NVIDIA. Certainly, uh, let's take a look at some of the other stocks out here in this sector. SMH. Um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of back and forth. Um, again, it doesn't happen instantly. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the quote. Let me look it up here because uh, I do like it. We have enough time. We do. And then I'll get to the SMHs when we return after the break. Um, let's do this. Uh, do, 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 am I still going to have time? Come on. There we go. Uh, what is that quote I'm looking for? Oh. Uh, so, um, think I'll probably have to do it during the uh, break. I don't see it here. I'll find it during the break. We shall return for yet another excellent segment of our trading hour. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. I wanted to sing from uh, Charles K. Uh, uh, Madness of Crowds. Men, it has been well said, think in herds. It will be seen that they go mad in herds, why they only recover their senses slowly and one by one. And that's what I think is going on here today. We're going to get a little bit of one by one. Everybody decided to go mad again at uh, 425 on the spies. Uh, but uh, I think slowly they'll be uh, covering over the next few days and uh, maybe even longer. But, uh, yeah, probably just a little bit too much too soon. Um, there's always that uh, idea that uh, you want the uh, Goldilocks uh, just right. You don't want the porridge too hot or it uh, ends up too quickly. Uh, if it's too cold, it doesn't do not anything. And if it's just right, it can continue on for several days, but I suspect we have made a low for the next seven to eight days on options expiration and, of course, uh, Delta neutral tomorrow. Uh, looking back at the Van Eck uh, Semiconductors uh, ETF, um, again, too much volume on this one. Um, wasn't bad earlier in the day, so you can make a case that it was all a lot of this off the bottom. But... Um, as uh, Steve Rhodes is uh, one to say, eh, a lot of mixed bags out here. So uh, what do we have on that? Well, not much else. Uh, I think you're better off picking, for a lot of times, individual stocks uh, outside of the uh, tech or inside the tech sector. If you're looking for a bigger one, the, uh, the S&P is probably, for the index, a little bit more predictable right now. Uh, as things turn around. Uh, Apple on its dog and pony show today really didn't amaze me with anything. In fact, I was rather bored and uh, almost felt like I needed to take a shower. Uh, there was so much propaganda and uh, self-aggrandizement uh, going on. Uh, but uh, eh, basically flat on the day. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, to, 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 okay, what's the high on NVIDIA for the day? Okay, what's today's range? Uh, 223. So it's still off that a little bit, but uh, still up six bucks, which is not bad. Okay, uh, other things. We looked at AMD. We looked at Microsoft, which looked fairly good. Uh, let's take a look at Micron out here and see it, it had been the strongest one. We talked a little bit about it yesterday. It may just need a couple more days. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a little less volume uh, yesterday uh, where you got into it with 26 million shares. Uh, that kind of meant that you were probably going to see the SMHs go take a little bit longer 
uh, to get going. Uh, this is going back and challenging the gap from November 19th of 2021. Uh, that had 47 million shares. You really don't like the, uh, you, you really kind of like the light volume out here. What you do need is the sentiment uh, in the market to change uh, since it is problematic. Uh, do, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Let's go back to work day. We talked a little bit about that yesterday and see how it's doing. Um, just a spending top out here again. A little more volume than you probably would like. You blew through the gap, which is never a good uh, sign. See if Oracle is finding any signs. I never understood why it got to 99, so I'm not kind of surprised that this thing is heading on back. Um, probably the best thing you can say about Oracle is a possible ABC higher. Do not know today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but certainly uh, a doji today on about half the volume of uh, yesterday. And that goes back into the candle. It had 11 million shares back on the 24th of February. And you're doing about 5.8 today. Uh, and about 11 million shares yesterday. That's the problem. You got back into that candle with that volume. So not a big uh, fan on that. Uh, take a look at Stitch Fix. Um, of course, uh, this was a big uh, trade for the shutdown. I don't see anything in this one either. Again, uh, kind of a little bit more of a mixed bag, but uh, not much going on in that. Got a list of stuff here to take a look at. Okay, the XME, is this a blow-off top? And as we said earlier in the show, I really liked uh, kind of a three-gap play in crude itself. You kind of came off of that. Um, supports probably somewhere around uh, in the metals and mine. Oh, excuse me. I was looking at, yeah, in the metals and mining um, at about 52. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's far too much to pull back. But, you know, that's exactly where the risk reward lines up. Uh, but it may take a while to get back down there. Uh, let's take a look at the XLE which is what I was thinking I was talking about early. Uh, you've got a couple of dojis out here, actually, too. Probably the worst thing you could see is one more doji tomorrow, just a little bit uh, lower, and that would set up a tri-star top. I do think that uh, crude is probably going to come down to somewhere around 100 bucks, uh, and then start its move to go up to 150 if uh, we don't have a change in policy here in the United States uh, on energy. But, uh, you know, you got to big bar out here lots of volume so the chances that you get them back and eventually retest it are better than not but uh, not a lot happening today uh to 2 k question on the slv let's take a quick look on that again just look like a lot of this stuff um exactly uh went to exactly where i would have sold it today which is halfway into this gap back uh, it goes back to uh, May, June, June 17th of 2021. This gap down was 74 million shares. You did get into it with 100 million shares today, so it looks good. But it's probably going to have to work its uh, way around. But uh, anybody that's listened to this show knows how much I love if you're in a trade, not an investment, not going to hold it for five years no matter what, uh, if you're missing out, uh, holder, all the other stuff that people say that this messes with your mind, that's exactly where you wanted to sell it. it Maybe 25 bucks even, but that would have been uh, the trade, not the investment out there, and it looked good. Uh, question to take a look at the TLT today. I haven't talked about it yet, um, other than we know this thing's coming down fairly quick a nice gap down all over the place i still suspect we're going to find uh, 128 in its future before before we find a low uh, certainly we had a higher volume on the 134 51 low of february 16th so nothing new in that uh okay 
Okay, and a question to look at desktop metals on earnings when we return. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we said at uh, the beginning of the show, we had a lot of people piling on short. I was looking for the markets to, to improve a little bit, probably all the way through the close today. And, uh, you know, well, it's time to put the little party hat on. We found at least a short-term low in the market. Uh, so that's kind of it. Now, does it mean it's all over? We won't have any back and forth? No, but I do think we're going to claw up a wall of worry. Maybe we're going to fall apart in the last week of the month, but it uh, looks like it's... Uh, uh, we've got enough of these stocks out here with light volume. Uh, I had a uh, question on uh, desktop metal from Sandy. Um, you had to like uh, the light volume here. There's not all these stocks, but some of them uh, have had some fairly light volume. January 24th, uh, $3.25 with 12 million shares. You came into that with half, which I love. You automatically run. Um, now... You just have a nice bounce up here today on some decent volume. 
But uh, you've uh, tested the low. You've done it fine. Um, not exactly sure if a lot of people are going to want to go into small caps at this point. But uh, every stock you find adds to the strength of a low that can hold instead of one that uh, craters and folds like a $5 suitcase. So probably going to see some more. Too much volume for me today to say that we've got anything approaching a low. Uh, we do to have, I think, another selling climax in the market. We've been talking about those for the last 30 days or 45 days. So yet another selling climax. That means we're probably going to get this retested again, but probably not sooner, probably later. That's why I'm thinking we've got a couple weeks off here to make some money on the long side. And uh, probably a little bit of time for uh, some of the ones that uh, were big winners to pull back for us to get them again on the rebound. Hang on for uh, Tom O'Brien. In the meantime, so when you can, not when you have to. And we will see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.